Have you ever stopped to think about what's living inside you? No, not your organs, but the trillions of tiny microbes that call your gut home. These microorganisms might be small, but they have a huge impact on your health. From managing blood sugar to supporting your heart and even influencing mood, your gut microbiome is working behind the scenes every single day. But if it's neglected, things can go wrong. Very wrong. Today, we're diving into how your microbiome affects your health, especially if you're managing diabetes or trying to prevent it. You'll discover practical diet strategies that can help your gut thrive, some of the best foods and drinks, and much more. Stick around because optimizing your gut microbiome can be one of the most beneficial health improvements a person can make. And if you find this video useful, please click the like button. Click subscribe to turn notifications on to discover more insider secrets about blood sugar control, diabetes, and optimizing your health through nutrition. First of all, what is the microbiome and why does it matter so much? Your microbiome is a bustling ecosystem of bacteria, fungi, and other microorganisms. Together, they influence everything from how well you digest food to how efficiently your immune system fights off illnesses. Your microbiome also produces chemicals that impact blood sugar levels. For example, when you eat fiber, your gut bacteria breaks it down into compounds called short-chain fatty acids, or SCFAs. These SCFAs play a role in reducing inflammation and improving insulin sensitivity, two critical factors for anyone managing diabetes. Now, here's where things get interesting. If the balance of good and bad bacteria gets disrupted, a condition called dysbiosis, it can lead to higher blood sugar levels, more inflammation, and even an increased risk of heart disease. Have you ever noticed that after taking antibiotics, your digestion feels off or you get bloated? It's because antibiotics can wipe out not just bad bacteria, but also the good ones your gut needs to function well. The good thing is that your microbiome is incredibly resilient. With the right foods and habits, you can nourish it back to health. Let's explore how. For an easy win, one of the best anti-diabetic drinks, which boosts your microbiome, is lemon water. Yes, lemon water is fantastic for your gut microbiome. Researchers have discovered that lemon-derived nanoparticles can enhance the survival of beneficial gut bacteria like Lactobacillus rhamnosus GG. How? Lemon water helps these bacteria resist stress from bile, a substance your body produces to digest fats. Think of bile like a tough coach, harsh and demanding, but ultimately makes you stronger and more capable. Likewise, beneficial bacteria need to be strong to survive the bile in your gut. Well, according to scientists, lemon nanoparticles give them the extra support they need to stay strong. The result? a healthier balance of gut bacteria, better digestion, and improved blood sugar control. But the benefits don't stop there. Drinking lemon water can also protect your gut lining from damage, reduce inflammation, enhance nutrient absorption, and of course, strengthen your immune system. So start off your day with a glass of lemon water or add lemon slices to your water bottle for a refreshing boost throughout the day. It's simple, effective, and a habit your gut will thank you for. Next, let's talk about fiber, the foundation of a healthy microbiome. Fiber acts as a prebiotic, meaning it feeds the good bacteria in your gut. When these bacteria break down fiber, they produce short-chain fatty acids, or SCFAs. These acids do more than just improve insulin sensitivity, they create a gut environment where beneficial bacteria can thrive. SCFAs also help lower the pH in your colon, making it harder for harmful bacteria to survive and multiply. 
There are two main types of fiber. Soluble fiber, found in oats, beans, and fruits like apples, it dissolves in water and forms a gel-like substance in your gut. This not only slows sugar absorption to stabilize blood sugar levels, but also provides an ideal substrate for bacteria to produce SCFAs. These SCFAs reduce inflammation and support the growth of other helpful microbes. Insoluble fiber. Found in whole grains, seeds, and vegetables, it adds bulk to your stool and keeps you regular. By promoting healthy bowel movements, insoluble fiber helps flush out waste products and maintain the balance of gut bacteria. Have you ever eaten oatmeal for breakfast and noticed that you feel full for hours? That's soluble fiber doing its job, keeping your blood sugar steady and your hunger in check while simultaneously nourishing your microbiome. But not all fiber is created equal. Certain foods go above and beyond by offering specific types of prebiotic fiber that your gut bacteria thrive on. For example, garlic and onions contain insulin, an exceptionally powerful prebiotic that not only encourages the growth of helpful bacteria like bifidobacteria, but also suppresses harmful microbes. On the other hand, leafy greens and bananas are fantastic because they provide a broad range of prebiotic fibers, as well as extra nutrients that foster a thriving microbiome. Beyond these, some of the most potent prebiotics include asparagus, leeks, artichokes, chicory root, and dandelion greens. If you make these a regular part of your diet, you're naturally creating an environment where your microbiome can thrive. So that's prebiotics. Now let's get into probiotics. If prebiotics are food for your gut, probiotics are the reinforcements. They are foods that actually contain live bacteria. These live bacteria help replenish your microbiome, especially after disruptions like illness or antibiotics. Eat them regularly and they'll start to colonize your gut. You probably already know about the most popular probiotic, yogurt. But there are a few more which also taste delicious and can transform your gut. But first, yogurt. When it comes to yogurt, not all options are created equal. Flavored yogurts might seem appealing, but many are loaded with sugar, artificial sweeteners, and flavoring chemicals that can harm your microbiome. Instead, go for full-fat Greek yogurt or plain natural yogurt. Check the packaging for terms like live and active cultures to ensure that it contains beneficial bacteria. Start your day with quality yogurt, and it's one of the simplest ways to improve your health. It introduces good bacteria into your stomach first thing in the morning, creating a powerful foundation for digestion throughout the day. Plus, yogurt is a great source of protein, helping to stabilize blood sugar and avoid the spikes that come with carb-heavy breakfasts like toast or cereal. And let's be honest, most of us eat the same thing for breakfast every day. But by choosing yogurt as your go-to, you're building a healthy, repeatable habit that can dramatically improve your health. Experiment with toppings like berries, soaked chia seeds, flax seeds, or nuts. These additions not only boost flavor, but also pack in nutrients like fiber, omega-3s, and antioxidants. A breakfast like this? It's one of the healthiest ways to start your day. Taking it a step further, kefir is like the superhero cousin of yogurt. This fermented drink contains a much higher count and wider variety of beneficial bacteria, often referred to as strains. That means that you're not just getting a bigger dose of good bacteria, but also a more diverse range, which is essential for gut health. Making kefir is surprisingly simple. All you need are kefir grains, tiny clusters of yeast and bacteria, and add them to milk. Let it ferment in the fridge and viola, a tangy probiotic rinse drink. Once it's ready, pour out what you need daily and top up the container with fresh milk. It's an ultra low maintenance way to keep your gut happy. Before a trip to India, I learned about kefir and started making it on my own. Knowing the risks of deli belly, I drink it daily for three months before the trip. 
While others spent the trip running to the bathroom, I managed to stay perfectly healthy. That's the power of kefir. It's a real game changer for your gut. Whether you're planning to travel, dealing with conditions like IBS, or simply looking to improve your digestion and blood sugar control, kefir is worth a try. Now, what about probiotic supplements? People constantly ask us about probiotic supplements, but while they can be useful, it's best to do so only under the guidance of a microbiome specialist. Why? Because balance is crucial. Overloading your system with one specific strain can disrupt the harmony of your gut bacteria. You see, different strains of probiotics serve different purposes. For example, Lactobacillus caesarei is often linked to weight loss, while Bifidobacterium longum can boost immunity. But overloading on just one strain might leave your gut lacking in other areas. By eating probiotic foods instead, your body naturally selects the strains it needs in a more balanced way. What about fermented foods? Fermented foods like sauerkraut offer another dimension of gut health. Sauerkraut is made by fermenting cabbage in salt. When you add salt to cabbage and let it ferment for two weeks, something remarkable happens. Beneficial bacteria begin to flourish, breaking down the sugars in the cabbage and transforming it into a tangy, probiotic-rich superfood. But that's not all. Fermentation enhances the bioavailability of nutrients in cabbage, making it easier for your body to absorb powerful components like vitamin C and vitamin K too. These nutrients are essential for your heart and blood health, helping to reduce inflammation, improve circulation, and even lower the risk of heart disease. But sauerkraut is just the beginning. Fermented foods come in many forms, each bringing unique benefits. Take kimchi, for instance. This spicy Korean staple combines fermented cabbage, radishes, garlic, and chili. Super spicy and the perfect side dish for any meal. Then there's miso, a fermented soybean paste often used in soups and marinades. You might have had a bowl of miso alongside your sushi. Natto, another fermented soybean food, stands out for its powerful enzyme natto kinase, which supports heart health. Its sticky texture and strong flavor might take some getting used to, but the health benefits may make it worth a try. And it doesn't stop there. Additionally, you can ferment just about any vegetable. Beetroot and carrots are popular as fermentation enhances their natural sweetness. Finally, kombucha offers a fun and fizzy way to boost your microbiome. This fermented tea is rich in probiotics and organic acids, making it a refreshing and gut-supportive alternative to soda. Is this video useful? Please click the like button, it really helps us. If you haven't already, click subscribe and turn notifications on so you don't miss our future videos. There are a few more things that deserve an honorable mention here. While berries, olive oil, and pomegranates may not be prebiotic or probiotic foods, they are like a support crew for your microbiome. Berries are packed with polyphenols, which help destroy free radicals. This protects your gut walls, allowing them to function optimally. Olive oil works in a similar way, containing various plant compounds which shield your gut lining, creating an environment where beneficial bacteria can thrive. Pomegranates with their unique elegant compounds take it a step further. When broken down by gut microbes, these compounds reinforce your gut barrier and reduce harmful inflammation. Beyond diet, lifestyle matters too. Exercise is crucial for gut motility, helping food and waste move through your digestive system more efficiently. This keeps your microbiome functioning well, and it might surprise you to learn that stress and lack of sleep can significantly interfere with your gut microbiome. Chronic stress triggers the release of hormones that disrupt gut bacteria, while poor sleep weakens your gut's ability to heal. Managing stress and prioritizing restful sleep should never be neglected. 
And of course, processed foods, sodas, and added sugars are a nightmare. They actively harm your microbiome by feeding harmful bacteria and sabotaging the beneficial ones, leading to poor digestion, insulin resistance, and diabetes. Artificial sweeteners are no better. While they might be promoted as healthier choice, studies show that they wreak havoc on gut bacteria. Finally, don't underestimate the power of hydration. Drinking plenty of water supports digestion, nutrient absorption, and gut motility, helping your microbiome thrive. What about tea? That's right, it's one of the most gut-friendly drinks you can choose. Certain teas are also excellent for controlling diabetes, protecting your heart, improving blood pressure, and so much more. So next, watch our video on the ultimate anti-diabetic teas.